hope you're doing well. This is Miss Sane coming live from the Sane apartment. So today I have a story for you. This is a very special book that Mr. McMahon let me borrow. So let's make sure that we listen really well using our listening ears and that we're sitting with our whole body listening, which means we are ready to learn and listen. Henry's Awful Mistake by Robert Quackenbush. Quackenbush, that's a funny sounding name. Hmm, I can see from the cover that Henry must be a duck and oh my goodness, his eyes are focused on something really small. It looks like an ant. Hmm, I wonder what could be such a big deal about an ant. Let's keep reading. Henry's Awful Mistake, again, the title page. The day Henry the duck asked his friend Clara over for supper, he found an ant in the kitchen. Oh, so he's cooking supper. And he found an ant. Uh-oh. Henry was worried that Clara would see the ant. She might think his house was not clean. The ant had to go. Henry reached for a can of ant spray but he didn't want to spray the ant near the food he was cooking. Makes sense. So he chased the ant with a frying pan. Oh my goodness. Oh, he does not look happy. Henry ran around the kitchen chasing after the ant, but the ant got away and hid behind the stove. Uh-oh. Henry took the food he was cooking off the stove. Then he shut off the flame and pulled the stove away from the wall. He saw the ant. The ant saw Henry and ran into a small crack in the wall. Henry went and got a hammer. Oh no. Let's pause. Hmm. What do you think is gonna happen? He got a hammer. I don't know. Let's keep reading. Henry pounded a big hole in the wall where the crack was. Henry, was that a good idea? But he couldn't find the ant, so he kept on pounding. Uh-oh. The hole got bigger and bigger. At last, Henry saw the ant sitting on a pipe inside the wall. See that little baby ant right there? Wow, look at that mess. Hmm. Henry aimed the hammer at the ant and missed. The blow of the hammer broke the pipe. Water came shooting out of the pipe. Henry couldn't stop it. Oh no, it was a water pipe. Henry grabbed a towel. He tied it around the pipe and the water stopped shooting out. Oh, good, good. Problem solving. Good job, Henry. But Henry hadn't stopped the water soon enough. It had sprayed all over the kitchen. Everything was soaking wet, except for Clara's supper. Thank goodness. The house might be a disaster, but her food is still there. Henry began mopping up the puddles of water. All at once, he slipped and banged against the kitchen table. Everything came crashing down. Henry was covered with pots and pans and food. Oh no. The supper was ruined. There was nothing Henry could do now but to call Clara and tell her not to come. How do you think that made him feel? I wouldn't feel very good if my friend couldn't come up for dinner. That would make me very sad. Would that make you sad? Yeah. While Henry was talking on the phone, the towel came loose from the pipe. Oh no. The water came shooting out and flooded the whole house. Henry was carried right out of the front door by the flood. There was no going back. 
Poor Henry's house was washed away by the flood. He saved what he could and moved into a new house. Oh, he has his little suitcase and everything. Look who's following right after him. It's the aunt. Uh-oh. When Henry was settled into his new house, he again asked Clara over for supper. Just as she went to the door to let Clara in, he saw an aunt. Do you think he's going to try all that stuff that he tried before? Or do you think maybe he's going to have a new thing to try? Hmm. I don't know. Let's keep reading to find out. He does look worried. He looked the other way. Oh, so Henry didn't try to chase after the ant this time. Wow. That sounded like he, he might have learned from his mistakes. Hmm, that's pretty cool, huh? That a character can learn from its mistakes. That reminds me an awful lot of some first graders that I know. In my classroom, we always say, it's okay to make a mistake as long as you learn from it. And guess what? We make mistakes every day, and that's okay. As long as you learn from it, it's going to be okay. Miss Sang makes mistakes all the time, but, as long as you'll learn, it's okay. Well, thanks for watching, first grade friends, and I hope to see you again here really soon. Bye.